was not able to function in a big city. It was terrible, a complete anarchy. Uh, mm-hmm. Teaching was almost impossible. Kids were wild. And parents were taking care of existence. We were receiving probably five dollars a month as a salary because of the mm. money devaluating. Is it a good word? Devaluating. Yeah, devaluating. Demand. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the stores were completely without food, and uh, I, I'm not sure how we made it through those years. Mm. So I decided to spend summer in our old. Uh, the house in the village and that's where I re-met my husband we were born in that same village and uh, we went to school together elementary school and kindergarten but then he (laughs) went to Bosnia to study psychology Mm. and when the war started he was pushed to come back to Serbia Uh, and he was a school psychologist in the village so we immediately made a decision to <laughs> run away and escape. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We exchanged experiences and it was just impossible for both of us. So soon after we met, we decided, I stayed there and I was an, an art teacher in that small mm-hmm. village. So it was continuously difficult economically. We didn't have money. As I said, it was constantly cold, uh, no gas, no electricity. He was pulled to a war for uh, maybe several months. So I was alone there. It was just terrible. Mm-hmm. Very, very unpleasant memories. And as I said, I, I'm not sure how we <laughs> went through. Do you that. have a hard time remembering the details? of those, those emotionally ex- yeah like um i think sometimes when people have very difficult experiences your brain yes, tends to yes, that, that's block what it I out said. it's it's yeah. a certain amnesia after we came here i probably subconsciously wanted to erase all the right. memories yeah but it's part of my life and it helped us grow up so after <laughs> you know when you look back you actually perceive it as <laughs> valuable experience yeah that is just incorporated in structure or existence now 